This morning, I want to talk about the generative art that you see in these backgrounds. They kind of look like wireframes. We're using a sketch plugin called Looper that you can go to their website or you can install via the runner plugin by going to the install tab and search for Looper and then install from here. So I've used it in a bunch of places such as this one. So each of these lines are actually generated from the plugin and you can customize them later on. You can set the background for each. What I found that works really well is by creating a new shape and you need to have sort of like a border. So I'm going to create a circle and then I'm going to create a circle that is a border like this. So the color doesn't matter, you can always customize later. So let's say I'm going to go with this and I'm going to group this and now I can play around by summoning uh, the plugin command. So command L, this is the window that you're going to find and here you can start having multiple copies generated for you. So we can have like 50 and then you can set the increment to be more. Then you can set the move so that you can see this kind of uh, artwork. You can set different directions or make it random so we can have effects like this. You can also make it uh, rotate, then set it to manual, and then changing the angle. You can also form a grid. Um, here, you can set the spacing and the number of columns. If you want to have something a little bit more random. I think it will also works better to have a smaller point and maybe you can have even uh, different shapes. So for example, you can move this a little bit and now you're going to create something almost entirely different. As you can see here. So you can really create a lot of interesting results with this and it's going to create very interesting backgrounds for your designs. Some of the effects that I did are using a gradient and you can see the samples that started these results. So again, you can use a circle, you can use multiple circles that are borders, you can use some interesting shapes. You can even use some symbols or icons and some customer designs. I definitely encourage you to experiment a lot because design is all about experimentation to see what looks and feels great. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And please let me know in the comments below what you would like to learn next. Thank you.